my name is Rina. I am a PhD candidate in robotics, and this is This Week in Robots. So I've been enjoying um, watching these um, robot games or competitions or whatever you want to call them. Um, I think they are really funny. And um, obviously in these videos, the robots mess up a lot. And in this video, I want to talk about why they mess up. And specifically, um, they these robots often have these jittery, jerky movements, and seemingly they come from nowhere and are spontaneous because nothing is really bothering them. But under the hood, these robots usually rely on high-frequency feedback control systems, which means that they are constantly trying to figure out things like joint positions, velocity, or sometimes external forces. And because there are so many inputs, there are so many opportunities for mistakes to happen. So, for example, one of the most common sensors that robots use is an IMU, which measures inertia. So, if this sensor makes a mistake, the robot will think that it is falling even when it's standing just fine. And the result is the robot will scramble, try to correct itself and sometimes that causes a stumble or a jitter uh, or even falls. And the other thing is um, most times the kind of robots that are featured in these videos are humanoid robots, meaning they are bipedal. Um, so if you have two, only two limbs and one of them messes up, it's much harder to correct. Um, and if we think about dog-like robots or quadrupeds because they have four legs to stand on, if one or even two of them mess up, they can still recover. So um, it is definitely much more common for bipedal robots to have these jitters or jerks. Um, but yes, that's, that's all I've got for this week. I hope that was interesting to learn and I'll see you next week.